All right, so now let the, the paper dry a little bit more. And so now I'm going to start again and the details, popping and bringing everything back to, uh, to where I want. I kind of laid big color down, I'm not afraid to just, you know, lay some color down and now kind of bring it, pop it up, bring it to make it look like something. I kind of I kind of did a little bit with this bottom character here. Now I'm going to work my way to these in the background here. Now I'm going to again, I'm going to draw directly off the sticks. Kind of enjoy drawing directly off the stick. So again, I'm just going to start bringing things back to where I think they should be. Now, I've done a lot of portraits, even though it's not quite a portrait, but uh, I kind of enjoy going back to just, you know, big color, big strokes, and this kind of stuff inspires me for that. So if you're trying to loosen up, trying to kind of step away so not so tense. These are great because it's almost like crayons. It just brings it back to when you were a kid. And that's what I enjoy about these. Again, I'm going to grab a, my favorite blue and red. Just basic colors here. I'm going to try to get some purples. I'm not too worried about how they mix. I'm just going to let, let it down. So now I'm just kind of laying down some colors you can see. Now I'm kind of fleshing out the character. Now that I let it dry, I'm really soaking it up full of water again, which is just fine. That's one of the things I like about the 300 pound paper is the fact that it can take a lot of water, kind of keep it moist for a little bit, um, and it can just take a beating. Love it. It's great for outside painting, so if it does, the weather gets a little cooler, you can definitely, um, or it starts raining a little bit, it won't affect too much of your of your painting. Um, I paint a lot outside and sometimes, especially in the Pacific Northwest, it tends to be rainy, they say. It tends to be raining a lot, so therefore I'm not too worried about uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of moisture on my paper. This thing just uh, really is great for that. And now I'm just drawing directly from the stick itself again, fleshing things out. So trying to have plenty of color. And um, all right, so now I'm just kind of again fleshing things out using a lot of color. Trying to make these characters as happy as possible, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to this bottom character here, Put a little texture, a little bit of a yellow, and this spots here. I love the mixture of this blue. I love the purple color. Again, just letting, letting it mix, doing its thing. I'm 
and I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to make blacks. I'm trying just to make a complex color, a complex dark, which is my favorite is uh, lizard and crimson and or any red and French ultramarine. You can definitely make a beautiful dark color and also still can be, um, still can kind of wet it down and you get this uh, either a nice purple color or a nice reddish color, which is great. So I want to make her a little bit more blue here. Maybe a little bit of green here. Get this going with a little bit of green. Bring some of that green color in from the background. You gotta remember to do that also. You don't want just your colors to be, you know, red and blue and green and yellow. You want some of that color to be dancing around so your eye focuses and kind of goes through the whole painting. Burn sienna here, a little shadow. The face. I don't like that as much, and I'm just going to take it out. Who says you can't take watercolor off, right? It is all possible. <laughs>